Today we will know how to learn English with 30 movies. Okay, let's press play. 1. Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo is an animated English film about a clownfish called Marlin who loses his son Nemo. It's a very popular choice for learning English through movies. On the way, he meets another fish called Dory. Together, they set out on an amazing adventure to find Nemo across the huge ocean. I don't want to reveal any spoilers, but it's a great film to watch for all audiences, one of the best animated films of all time. 2. The Terminator. The Terminator series is a story about a war between artificially intelligent, I, machines and humans that is going on in the future. When the humans start to win the war, these AI machines send killer machines back to the past. Their goal is to try and kill the leader of the human resistance, John Connor and his family. It's a thrilling science fiction film that's truly one of a kind in this genre. 3. Titanic. Titanic is one of the most celebrated films in the entire history of filmmaking. Based on a real life story, it retells a love story between Rose DeWitt Bukater, the daughter of a wealthy family, and Jack Dawson, a poor artist who sneaks onto the ship. It also has some very exciting scenes showing the events on board the RMS Titanic before it sank, one of the grandest passenger liners at that time. Titanic is also home to the famous song, My Heart Will Go On, by Celine Dion, which you might have heard of. A great all-time classic, and a masterpiece of great technical complexity. You'll hear it in the movie trailer below. Practically every English speaker on earth has seen this film, and knows this song, so you're getting a great cultural lesson if you watch Titanic when you learn English through movies. Fluent U, a video immersion platform, has the song available with interactive subtitles, can help you understand its complex lyrical meanings, which can be challenging to do on your own. There's also a review quiz for each video, and each includes multiple choice, fill in the blank, and speaking exercises. In addition, you can add individual words to a multimedia flashcard deck for further practice. Other content available on Fluent U includes music videos, movie clips and trailers, to name a few. The program can be used on iOS, Android, or the web. 4. Harry Potter. If you like magic, you'll definitely want to learn English with movies from the Harry Potter series. These beloved English movies will take you through the mysteries of Hogwarts and the Wizarding World. It's a seven-part book series, an eight-part film series, about the battle between good and the bad wizards. The story centers around the main characters Harry Potter and the evil Lord Voldemort. After you watch this, magic will never be the same again. 5. Star Wars. Star Wars is another epic film series, but it's rather strange, the series wasn't filmed in order. If you want to watch it from the beginning of the story to end, follow the list in this article. Overall, this story follows the end of a long battle between two opposite forces of the universe, the Jedi Order and the Sith Lords. In the Star Wars series, it is believed that there is a force that holds together the universe. While the Jedi Order believe in compassion and kindness in using this force, the Sith Lords believe in using the force through hate, anger, jealousy and other negative feelings. In this thousand-year battle between these two sides, the Jedi Knights and the Sith Lords clash in a thrilling sequence throughout the six movies. There are no other movies like Star Wars, definitely a great set of movies to learn English with. 6. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is another one of the greatest film series in the magic category. Set in the lands of the Middle-earth, there are three primary races, dwarves, humans, elves as well as other races such as hobbits, orcs and werewolves. The series follows the dark plot of a rebellion led by Sauron, the most evil being across all lands at that time. To oppose this evil, a small group of fighters take on a brave mission, to destroy a ring that is said to hold the powers of Sauron himself, which would mean the fall of Sauron with its destruction. 7. Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean is a film series about pirates. Each film follows the adventures of Jack Sparrow, Captain of the Black Pearl, the name of Jack's ship, and it starts off in the first film following Jack's attempts to get his ship back, which was stolen from him. In the next films, Jack goes on to find the dead man's chest, which contains the heart of Captain Davy Jones, someone he owes a favor to. Finally, Jack is forced to look for the Fountain of Youth, which is a magical fountain which promises the drinker eternal youth. 
Never has there been a film where you can have so much fun with pirates. These are probably better movies to learn English when you've reached the intermediate or advanced stage. Some of the accents and slang can be difficult to understand. 8. Toy Story. Genre. Children's movie, adventure. This is an animated, cartoon, movie that follows a young boy called Andy who loves playing in his room with his toys. He especially loves to play with his cowboy action figure called Woody. When Andy disappears, the toys come to life and Woody is the leader that ensures all the toys are being good. Andy's mom gives him a new toy for his birthday, a space superhero called Buzz Lightyear. Buzz soon takes Woody's place as Andy's favorite toy and Woody becomes jealous. Woody decides he's going to get rid of Buzz, but as the two toys begin to fight they get lost. This story follows their adventure as they try to make their way back to Andy. Why this movie is great for English learners. Animation movies such as, Toy Story, are usually written for and aimed at a younger audience which means the story and vocabulary used is not complicated. Even though the movie is mainly for kids, it doesn't feel like it. The director made it attractive for adults too, by including a little bit of adult humor in it. 9. Cast Away. Genre. Adventure. This is an American adventure drama that follows Chuck Noland, Tom Hanks, a systems analyst, who has to travel around the world fixing problems at FedEx centers. Chuck is called up at Christmas time to go to Malaysia on business and is forced to leave his girlfriend Kelly, Helen Hunt, behind. His plane hits a terrible storm and it crashes somewhere into the Pacific Ocean. Chuck manages to escape the crashed plane and holds onto a life raft in the cold sea. Eventually he washes up onto a deserted island the next day and isn't able to find much but a volleyball that washed up from the crash along with him. Chuck names the ball Wilson and talks to him every day to fight his loneliness. The movie follows Chuck and Wilson as Chuck struggles to survive being stranded. Why this movie is great for English learners. Most of the dialogue in this movie is a monologue, one person speaking, so it's very easy to follow. Tom Hanks is also known for his clear and slow voice, which is perfect for any English learner to understand. 10. 500 Days of Summer. Genre. Romantic Comedy. This movie shows a young architect called Tom Hansen, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, meeting Summer Finn, Zoe Deschanel. He falls in love with her right away, and over the next few months they spend a lot of time together, even though Summer tells him she doesn't believe in love. Despite how much time they spend together, Summer doesn't feel the same about Tom. A couple of years later they meet again and she explains that he was right about the idea of love and that she has met someone. Why this movie is great for English learners. The English is very simple to understand and it's a narrative from one person's perspective so it's easy to follow. It's not your typical love story and it catches the audience's interest from the beginning. 11. Despicable Me 3. Genre. Adventure. Comedy. The Despicable Me films in English have become one of the most loved animated movie series in the world. The Yellow Minions, which are actually side characters in the films, even have their own movie now. In the earlier films, Gru started out as the world's most evil supervillain, bad guy. In this part of the series, Gru is going through a crisis of identity. He no longer knows who he is. In the beginning of this movie, he is now part of the anti-villain squad. But pretty soon he is kicked out of the squad when he fails to do his job. Then one day he is visited by his mysterious twin brother, who now wants to become a villain himself and asks for Gru's help. Why this movie is great for English learners. Even though the main story is about Gru, the real stars of this movie are the three girls who are adopted by him. Agnes, the youngest sister, is the most adorable character in the world. Her lines are short but very funny. This makes her a good model for English learners who are just starting out. Overall, this is one of the best movies to learn English the way American speakers use it. But it may be best for beginners to focus on the three sisters and their speech, as most of the other characters have accents that are not considered standard for English. 12. The Boss Baby. Genre. Comedy. Tim Templeton is a seven-year-old child who gets all the love and attention from his perfect parents. But one day, he discovers that his parents have brought another baby to their house. Over time, Tim is ignored by his parents as the strange suit and tie-wearing baby takes away all their affection. Then, both the brothers have to put aside their rivalry, competition for the same thing, 
and join to fight a common threat, puppies. The baby tells Tim about a plan the puppies have to take all the attention of adults away from children. They go through a funny and adorable journey to save the children from being ignored. Why this movie is great for English learners. The film is a unique mix of casual English and business lingo. As the baby is supposed to be a manager in a business corporation, he uses words like, closers, people who finalize a business deal, and, power nap, sleeping for a short time to energize yourself for work. At the Thank you.
2023. Thor. Ragnarok. Genre. Action. If you love special effects, superpowers, fighting scenes and cool costumes, then this movie is great for you. It is part of a group of films in English made by Marvel, which focuses on superhero movies. This movie focuses on Thor, a god from Norse mythology. He returns to his birthplace after a long time to find that his father is dead and his sister is coming to rule his city. With help from other famous superheroes like Hulk and Doctor Strange, he has to fight his sister Hela and save his people. Why this movie is great for English learners. Unlike many other famous movies, some of the actors in this one speak in a New Zealand accent, also called a Kiwi accent. The film has many funny moments that can help you understand what kind of humor is popular with the current English-speaking population. It will also give you some knowledge of Norse mythology and popular superhero knowledge that could help you in having conversations with English speakers. 24. The Big Sick. Genre. Comedy. Love comes with many problems. One of the most common is culture clash. This is when the backgrounds, the upbringing and the beliefs of two people are a main source of conflict in their romantic relationship. This movie manages to deal with this issue in a sensitive and also funny way. Kumail Nanjani is a comedian from Pakistan who falls in love with Emily Gardner, a college student in the US. When Emily falls sick, Kumail develops an unexpected bond with her parents. Why this movie is great for English learners, Seeing the contrast between the Pakistani and American cultures can be very helpful for English learners. Since the Pakistani Americans in the movie are immigrants, they go through a journey of learning about American culture. You can note the differences between how both the families talk and observe the rhythm, tone, pace and vocabulary of the native and non-native speakers. 25. It. Genre. Horror. This movie is based on Stephen King's well-known novel of the same name. It is about a small town where children are being kidnapped by strange forces. When all the adults refuse to find the cause, a group of children decide to investigate. What they find is both horrifying and thrilling. This is perhaps one of the first stories that made clowns into monsters. Why this movie is great for English learners, the movie is pretty great for learning authentic, casual American English. The dialogues between the children will help you understand what a normal conversation on the street sounds like. 26. Wonder Woman. Genre. Action. Diana is the princess of the Amazons, a tribe of women who train themselves to be warriors. She is raised on an isolated island with no contact with the outside world. When she discovers a pilot and he tells her about a war that is going on, she decides to leave. Using her special powers, she becomes Wonder Woman, and hopes to stop the Great War. Why this movie is great for English learners, the First World War was a very important event for the English-speaking world, and this film tries to give you a feel of what things were like at that time. Naturally, the characters use a lot of military vocabulary, like, no man's land, a piece of land unoccupied by any nation, or, snipers, special soldiers who use a gun to kill people from a distance. 27. Logan. Genres. Action, superhero. In, Logan, we get to see one of the most loved movie characters trying to play the role of a father. Wolverine, a powerful character from the X-Men movies, discovers a girl, Laura, who is an incredible warrior. After her mother dies, Wolverine promises to protect Laura from a military group. When he discovers that Laura has powers identical to him, they develop a relationship that is both loving and difficult. Why this movie is great for English learners, the conversations between characters in Logan are powerful but short. Since the pace of these conversations is often fast, though, this movie is best for advanced learners. Apart from that, American culture, geography and accents are featured heavily in this movie. The characters talk about comic books, there are scenes in public areas and various locations in the USA are an important topic of conversation.